Hi, this is Cindy. And I'm Michael. From Part Time Permies, and today what we're going to show you is how to put the framing up with the conduit pipe and also put the plastic on top of it. trying to be minimally uh, damaging to the house yes. because if we decide we don't like it or we decide we want to take it down at some point or you know at some point the house will go up for sale for somebody else you know they may find it distracting and unattractive we want to be able to put it back in a condition where uh, there'll be minimal effects so I had a 2 by 4 beam holding the gutters yep. we extended with a 2 by 2 down further with some screws so those could be removed minus just a few minor screw holes up against the aluminum flashing. We took some one by fours as like a furring strip and we mounted our electrical conduit along those and then mounted that board to this, you know, to the support we'd bought on the house. Again, minimizing the amount of um, damage to the house and increasing the strength and interlocking right underneath the gutter. We ran poles across the roof and the ground which we can show you yeah and then outside for these vertical poles we put uh, we cut about 18 inch lengths of uh basically a post for one, one and a half inch or two inch. it might have been two inch uh chain link fence post yeah so Calvin we cut them post. at 18 inch long and then pound them into the ground so that we can attach the verticals and just not even attach them just stick them in the ground and yeah. use that tension to hold them up and then they're attached to the eave line up top as well. That should That's good. That's what we work. Want. So we just have to make five more of those. Yep. Uh, well, we need to make and then we and plus one on this end, but it's not well, going to be the we'll same. We'll make six and we'll cut that one. Okay. One of the harder parts is you can't just go to the hardware store and get these cross connections. You can buy these interlinking connections. Uh, we have um, T connections with pass-throughs. We have intersections that have a, a bottom intersection and up piece. Those were all bought from a greenhouse supply company. They have nice welds. They look like they may have almost been uh, hand, sp hand specially welded by a, a craftsman and his website. So those were made for greenhouses so that they allow pass you know, throughs, overs and unders, so you don't have to cut and keep linking pieces together. Uh, so that, uh, they were nice. We spent about $100 on those. Bought a couple extra pieces. We ended up using, I think, almost everyone. We have cross throws, 
We have T-joints where you can connect in either end. And then we have some elbows and we have some elbows that have an up piece and uh, they're all hollow tubulars. Uh, allowed us to make all these connections easily. They also come with self-tapping metal screws. Uh, we anchored not every joint, but we anchored many of the joints uh, with the screw just to make sure that if things start jiggling around that uh, it stays sturdy, but at the same time they're easy enough that you can you could disassemble uh, this unit seasonally if you wanted to. Uh, we have some concrete places where where the um, sidewalk is. We have our one edge and post um, up against the house. We didn't have good brace points. Uh, we didn't really want any. It's difficult to create something to brace on the concrete. And again, minimal damage. Uh, we put a tap con in, like a three inch tap con. So the screw is sticking out a little Left bit. it up an inch, inch and a half. Yeah. And because the tubes are open, we basically linked the tube, just, just slid it, it over right the top. top. Yep. And with the downward pressure, um, and connecting it everything works. in, it, it becomes a real nice way to uh, position if you're on concrete. Yeah. The plastic, we, you can actually do the plastic in a couple of ways. You can attach it to the outside, you can attach it to the inside, you could do both so that you have a even a air pocket in between. But the plastic is probably is probably the easiest thing on the Plastic goes up easy to, uh, um, There is a clip that you get that's removable. A lot of the greenhouse supply stores sell these, just make sure they're at the right size. They hold very firm. We've had some for quite a few years now. Um, that they don't degrade very fast in the weather and the you know the sun and stuff. So we're pretty happy they're maybe a dollar a piece. Or... Johnny was a good source. There are other greenhouse supplies, but uh, we found that Johnny's a good source and seems to be competitive on that. The plastic we got is basically like drop cloths that you use for like painting or whatnot. Well, we're on heavy. The... We're four. Yeah. I think we're on four mil. Yeah. Um, you can get so you don't want the thinnest stuff. No. It's like one or two mil. Um, three and four mil is pretty common. Once you get into that, it gets pr uh, above that, it gets pretty heavy, yeah. um, and it starts to get more and more opaque. Um, but so there's a balance between weatherability. I think a lot of the greenhouse stuff is four or five mil um, sheeting, so we wanted strength. So in fact, because we did decide to do some double layer, and we're still working on it a little bit, yeah. um, we could put a heavier layer on the outside and actually use a thinner layer on the inside that isn't going to take so much wind and weather if we want to improve um, light penetration. So some minor adjustments from what we've finished here. We're debating making this a double layer all the way through. Um, one of our issues noticing in the first week or two of having this all um, closed in is we do le lose a bit of heat at night. ever $400 greenhouse we'll get that math put together for you so you know exactly what we 
cost. Let's, let's call it four hundred dollars. Let's call the upgrades. Call it five hundred dollars if you choose to do yep. double insulating, better doors, trim it up a little bit. Let's call it five hundred dollars. And if you did it with a like used door, you could probably get away with around three. Three to four hundred, depending yep. on how many clips and how many joints you decide you yep. want to buy and how many you want to fabricate yourself. And of so, course, how big the greenhouse is. Yeah. And this so this is ten by about eighteen. Yes. So thanks for watching. Our greenhouse is officially done. Yep. Awesome. We'll see you with our next project.